talk to people. Get them off the ledge and have them cuff themselves. Right? How smooth? Right? Yes. For everybody. It's like that Wolf of Wall Street. Street. Sell me this pen. Hey man, let's see if you can talk this. I bet you, you know, see if you can talk this sucker into putting them on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll hit yes. them from that angle. Oh yeah, and that comes with uh, rank too. Age is rank because when we come age in, rank. they they have us so fired up. When we go, when we come out of our training facilities into there, it's like I don't remember being taught that part, but and th- that comes with with work and everything because you know you run into somebody, some lady, it's somebody's mom or somebody's sister, someone's brother, right. someone's dad. I mean, I you know you get, and we all have those days. We, everyone has a hell. Most people have hard days all the time, right? Yeah, we get that. That comes with that too. But um, yeah, you're you're right. The ability to roll in, into those situations, like those guys with great sense of humors, like can just yep. d- disarm anybody. It doesn't matter what has been going down. You walk in there, and as soon as that sucker opens his mouth, everyone's like, ah, oh, just calm, right? Right. I mean, there should be a test in school. Like the class clowns or the people who are good at that, you're too bad. You're our cops. It's it. That's you're going it. In because- hey, you're going in with that, the hardest dude we got, put him with the funniest bastard we got, and let them go do their deal and make everybody happy and, and want to go to jail. <laughs> yeah, because you you lower you lower the pressure. Yeah, you lower, you lower the pressure lower, immediately. And, and all people want is, is be respected. They, they, if they know, even they, they know they're going to get arrested, you know, they want to be treated with respect. 100%. I'll, I'll cuff a guy, and, and after the fight's over, all right, the fight's over. But, hey, you lost, I won. Let's let's move on with the game here. Is Now you're getting booked, and we'll just do it nice and quietly, and I'll, I'll kick you out as fast as I can. Yeah. So those are the, those the, the men and women that train me, and, and God bless them, because they, 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 they probably saved me more than once. And, and what those is skills that? That's, yeah, that's, I'm sorry. That, that I had there played off in the military as well, because those same skills that I learned on the streets of Brooklyn and the Bronx paid dividends in iraq afghanistan and syria yeah that's uh, that country that put us i mean because the, the storms put me through and it's almost if they were they were so mean but i knew they they were doing it they weren't going to kill me and i knew that it was for a purpose and if you got that little disclaimer going for you you're good <laughs> yeah. right because that's the only way you can kind of they had to teach us how to handle those hard situations when they came in on top of us it's like oh you know right. Yeah, they got to they can ratchet the pressure up um, so you can handle it when it does get to that level. Right, the idea right. is not to get to that level. Yes, 100%. That's why they take us there. I, I would tell people, I was like, man, our training is, is twice as hard as anything we've had, ever had to go into. It's I down. mean, it's guys down. die yeah. more than just in the damn training. Yeah. And that's the thing with us. And that actually perpetuates our guys to, I mean, we wouldn't want to back off the line, but we damn sure hold it. And, yep. then, and then we keep pushing it until we're like, we figure out what that is. And we just keep going with it, and we keep going until we hit a, another one. Then we'll hold the line, then then keep going. Yeah. And um, it's its own kind of fire. I remember yeah. when we were going through the guy. The, what got us in was like, "Hey, man, this is the hardest thing. You're probably going to die. Ain't nobody going to like you." Like, sweet, that's what I need. <laughs> What's that Marine the other day? He's like, he flipped this card on me. and said, "Honor." I was like, "Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> courage." And it's like, yes. Winner. I was like, that just calls to people. He said, "I'll take them all." Like, I'll take them all. That's what he said. He goes, I'll take every one of them. Collect them all. What, that is true. Were you in New York for 9-11? So I was actually off that day, uh, thank God. Um, so I, I, I worked midnights my entire career. So my entire career was spent on midnight patrol. So midnight patrol would end up right around 7 in the morning we get off duty. Uh, so That's when, graveyard, uh, right? What, yeah. Working the yeah, night. The that, graveyard. That, that, some yeah. people pull that out. I mean, night and days, right? Some people love working the day. Com- completely different worlds. Yeah, completely. Too. Completely different worlds. Yeah, operate completely different. But when the uh, when the towers got hit, we got a you know a mass call out. And remember, this is back in you know 2001. Not everyone had a cell phone. You know, the internet wasn't the, uh, that as big as it is now. So, you they wanted to get a head count of who was left because at that point, you know, first reports are never correct. So, everyone responded back to their precinct. Now, luckily, I was um I had I actually had gotten in an accident with my Jeep, so. I had a, a rental car that looked like an Impala, so it looked like a police car. So I, I flew into work. People were just, you know, parting the seas. I got right to work, and really it was a headcount to see who was left. Yeah. Because, um, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen next, and we were on edge because at that point you didn't know what was going to happen, and people were scared, and the city was, was on edge. So they wanted all hands on deck just in case. To, Man, y'all uh, did it. well. Mm-hmm. We're talking Pardon? about that. Y'all did great. New York. Y- I'm, I'm y'all's biggest fan. If you ain't picked that up yet, man, because y'all did great. When we got punched in the face he like that, we New did, York man. City. Y'all got, I mean, y'all are kind of our chin, dude. And it took, it came down in there like that, that destroyed it. Boom. And uh, I was, I was in by now. I was, right. tra- I, I, I was training up. I, and you want to talk about adding a freaking lighter fluid to a fire? 
our, our generation, we were sitting there watching that go down. And it was like, come on. <laughs> yeah. But, and the way y'all and, took that, because coming out of there, everyone, I, I was saying something about when we were church there. I was like, man, you want to know what it's like to be covered in sackcloth and ash? That's what happened to y'all. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah. And I'm watching y'all come out of that, man, and just and your heads come up, and then those American flags come up, and y'all just y'all kept going. That's what perpet- perpetuated us. My favorite coin that I have in posters, that firefighter and cop handing that American flag down to us, the military guys, and like, yep. we'll take it from here. All right? Yeah. Just hold the fort. And we'll be right back. You know, that, that kind of mentality? I will, I will tell you, that, that got us through when we're down at, 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 uh, on the ground zero digging through all that crap. A lot of my friends knew I was in the military. Um, and they wanted to know, hey, what's going to happen? And I remember sitting sitting down after we just spent 12 hours digging. I'm like, look, guys, don't worry, right? Because I know for a fact right now there are guys like you, like SOCOM, like JSOC, that are going to go out there and get ours back. So we just have to hold it here, right? But don't worry, folks are going to get ours back. And to this day, you know, every time I'm, I meet, you know, I meet a member of the community, I, I thank them on behalf of the NYPD in New York City because that's what got us through. This is the Team Never Quit Podcast. Podcast. So buckle up, Buttercup.